Today we're going to talk about the mineral chromium and the important role it plays in diabetes, weight management, as well as keeping your eyes healthy, keeping your mind young, and more. Make sure you watch until the end where we'll discuss food sources and why diabetics may have trouble. Plus, we'll explore the science on supplementation as well as potential side effects and interactions to be aware of. Hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on the latest information and stick around to find out how you can get two free gifts to help you understand and prevent diabetes. You may know chromium from the movie Aaron Brockovich, the true story of how chromium polluted the water supply of a small town, leading to elevated rates of cancer and death. That's right, chromium can be toxic, but it's also an important mineral to keep your body running smoothly, depending on its form. Chromium originates from the Earth's crust. From there, it naturally makes its way into rocks, water, and soil. Hexavalent chromium is used in industrial processes like chrome plating. Chromium is extracted from the earth, melted and refined, turning it toxic. On the flip side, trivalent chromium is the natural form in food, a trace mineral that has numerous benefits, particularly for diabetics. As plants grow, they absorb natural trivalent chromium from the soil. When we consume these plants, we get trace amounts of healthy chromium mineral. One of the primary benefits of chromium is to enhance the action of insulin, the hormone responsible for regulating blood sugar. Insulin acts as a key that unlocks our cells, allowing glucose to enter cells and provide energy. In people with type 2 diabetes, the body's response to insulin is impaired, leading to elevated blood sugar levels. Chromium to the rescue! That's right, chromium has been shown to improve insulin action, helping to get glucose into the cells where it's needed. In one clinical trial published in the journal Diabetes, people with type 2 diabetes were given either chromium supplements or a placebo and told to continue with their regular eating habits. After four months, the participants taking chromium significantly improved their glucose and insulin function and had significantly better HbA1c test results. As you might know, the HbA1c test gives a comprehensive picture of blood sugar levels over a period of time, making it less subject to fluctuations due to meals, stress, or physical activity. Therefore, it's a useful indicator of how well diabetes treatment plans are working over the long term. And a number of studies have found similar positive effects of chromium on insulin function and blood sugar. Other studies have shown that adequate chromium is associated with improved cholesterol profiles, specifically lower levels of LDL cholesterol. While we do need LDL cholesterol, diabetics are particularly prone to excess LDL cholesterol, becoming damaged, leading to severe complications. Having high levels of glucose in the blood, as happens with type 2 diabetes, can lead to a process called glycation, where glucose molecules bind to cholesterol proteins, altering their structure and function. When this LDL glycation occurs, it damages the artery walls, contributing to the formation of plaque and blocking arteries. This is the basis of atherosclerosis, heart disease, one of the main causes of a heart attack, and a complication of uncontrolled diabetes. Furthermore, when your body detects glycated cholesterol, it sends a team of macrophages, your body's defense mechanism. These macrophages recognize damaged cholesterol as harmful and proceed to engulf them like a protective shield guarding your cardiovascular system. This is good for protecting your body in the short term, but when you have too much of this going on, your body becomes overwhelmed, leading to inflammation and hardening of the artery walls, making them vulnerable to even more damage. So that's why it's important for diabetics to be aware of LDL cholesterol to break the cycle of damage. And fortunately, chromium is a strong ally in the battle. Chromium aids the metabolism of lipids. It helps your body to process fats and cholesterol more efficiently, thereby reducing excess LDL cholesterol, thus protecting you against atherosclerosis. A number of studies have linked higher chromium consumption to lower blood 
provide cholesterol and healthier arteries, with other studies showing a trend of people who died from heart disease having low levels of chromium. But as we'll get into in a moment, the most popular chromium-rich foods are not ideal for diabetics, meaning that diabetics may miss out. But before that, let's talk about eyesight. Diabetes can trigger a range of eye-related problems, so it's important to take steps to avoid damage as early as possible. A significant concern is diabetic retinopathy, which stems from consistently high blood sugar levels. This can lead to severe vision issues, including blindness if not managed properly. Diabetic retinopathy occurs as elevated blood sugar damages tiny blood vessels in your retina, the light-sensitive tissue at the back of your eye. These compromised blood vessels can leak or even close off entirely, disrupting the flow of nutrients to the retina, leading to vision loss. Blindness is a serious concern when it comes to diabetes, and the heartbreaking aspect is that once your vision is lost, it is often irreversible. So the best strategy is to prevent these issues from arising in the first place. As we discussed, chromium improves insulin sensitivity, leading to better blood sugar control. This reduced blood sugar impact then translates into fewer damaging effects on your eyes, potentially reducing your risk of diabetic retinopathy. Before we get to weight loss, how about those free gifts? Discover an entire world of diabetes-fighting foods with our new book, 10 Incredible Foods That Reduce Blood Sugar. Plus, you'll discover the real reason why type 2 diabetes, obesity, and heart disease are increasing at an alarming rate, and find out what really works when it comes to preventing these illnesses by watching our free diabetes-fighting documentary. Plus, get a free recipe book, Amazing Alternatives to Rice, Pasta, and Bread, which contains over 50 delicious and easy-to-prepare recipes that the whole family will love. These gifts are free and waiting for you to grab them in the description box below. If you're finding this information useful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos as we release them. Now, back to this video. What about weight loss? Research consistently shows that being overweight raises your risk for disease, including diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. While it's not a magic bullet, chromium's influence on insulin sensitivity can also enhance weight loss efforts. When insulin functions efficiently, your body is better equipped to use glucose for energy rather than storing it as fat. In fact, a comprehensive 2019 study analyzed the results of 21 trials involving a total of 1,316 overweight participants. The trials showed statistically significant results that chromium supplementation was associated with consistent weight loss for people who needed it. And while this doesn't necessarily mean you should go out and start taking a chromium supplement, it does show that chromium may make a difference in your body's ability to prevent excess fat storage. All of this has another major benefit, potentially the most important of all. It's all about your body's ability to use glucose for energy rather than storing it as fat, right? Well, do you ever struggle with fatigue? With poor insulin function, glucose can't get into cells where it's needed, meaning you feel tired. For some people, it's a consistent feeling that you don't have enough energy to get through the day, and for others, it's a slight tiredness. But the truth is, most of us do actually have the energy in our bodies, but with insulin resistance, you just can't access that energy. So when your body is better equipped to use that glucose, you feel more energized and are less prone to fat gain. And this doesn't only impact physical energy in your muscles, but it also impacts your mental energy and brain health. Glucose is the brain's primary source of energy, and maintaining stable blood sugar levels is crucial for optimal cognitive function. When blood sugar levels are too high or too low, it affects your ability to focus, remember, and think clearly. Furthermore, researchers believe that chromium may significantly impact the hypothalamus function, 
the hypothalamus, often referred to as the control center of the brain, plays a vital role in various physiological processes, including hormone control and temperature regulation. According to Dr. Mark McCarty from the U.S. San Diego School of Medicine, promoting brain insulin activity with chromium picolinate may help to maintain the hypothalamus in a more functionally youthful state ultimately improving appetite, sleep, and emotions. So how do you make sure you're getting enough chromium? Wheat products such as bread are the most common dietary sources of chromium. However, they're not good for diabetics due to their impact on blood sugar and inflammation. For that reason, it's better to get your chromium fix from lower carb foods. Broccoli is a great option and is also rich in sulforaphane, a compound with potent antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. In fact, broccoli and other cruciferous vegetables are amongst the best foods for preventing diabetes-related heart disease. Grapes, especially the red and purple varieties, contain chromium along with other antioxidants like resveratrol, which is famous for keeping blood vessels healthy and flexible. Tomatoes are another good chromium source and contain the antioxidant lycopene, which is key for a healthy heart. Several nuts contain chromium. Brazil nuts are relatively high. However, it's important to limit your intake to a maximum of three per day. That's because Brazil nuts also contain selenium, which is another nutrient we need, but it should not be consumed in excessive amounts. Other good nuts include pecans, walnuts, almonds, hazelnuts, and macadamia nuts. Meat contains chromium, although the levels can vary depending on the animal's diet. For instance, grass-fed animals have higher levels of chromium compared to animals fed on grain-based diets. Next, we have a versatile superstar food, eggs. Eggs don't contain as much chromium as plant-based foods like broccoli. However, it does contain small amounts. But the beauty of the egg is that they offer a broad spectrum of important minerals, including chromium, magnesium, phosphorus, and zinc. And they're an excellent source of protein, healthy fats, and vitamins, which is why they're often described as the complete food. Finally, we have brewer's yeast. Brewer's yeast is a nutritional powerhouse and a rich source of chromium. It's made from the fungus Saccharomyces cerevisiae and is the key ingredient when brewing beer. It's a popular nutritional supplement, particularly for vegetarians, because it provides a variety of nutrients found in meat, including B vitamins, protein, and minerals like chromium. A number of studies have found that brewer's yeast can be beneficial for improving glucose control and insulin function. Now, our body's ability to absorb chromium isn't particularly great, with some researchers estimating that only 2.5% of chromium is absorbed from our diet. For this reason, some people turn to chromium supplementation, particularly in the form of chromium picolinate, which is more easily absorbed into the body. While some studies show positive effects, results have been mixed, and not all individuals with diabetes experience the same benefits. That said, a number of studies have found that chromium supplementation improved glucose control and insulin function. Supplementation may be worth considering for people who are chromium deficient, which is more likely to be people who consume a lot of sugar, pregnant women, people who work out intensely, and older people. But while chromium supplementation can offer benefits for some people, it's important to be aware of potential side effects. Excessive intake may lead to stomach discomfort, skin reactions, or even kidney issues. Furthermore, chromium may interact with certain medications, including beta blockers and anti-inflammatory drugs. So as always, obtaining chromium from food is preferable to supplementation. Whole foods provide a balanced array of nutrients, while excessive chromium intake through supplements can lead to adverse effects. If you're struggling with diabetes control or you suspect you may be low in chromium, talk to your healthcare specialist about whether chromium supplementation is right for you. We hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment with any questions, thoughts, or requests 
for future videos. If you found this useful, click the like button and help us spread the word. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and don't forget, you can claim your free gifts by clicking the link in the description below or visiting us at diabeticstalk.com. Also, check out exclusive Diabetics Talk merchandise from our store and sign up as a member to get full access to the food, health, and you complete implementation system documentary and more. We want to keep making informative, research-based videos for you. So if you gained value from this video and would like more of it, you can send us a super thanks by clicking the thanks button at the bottom of the video. We're Diabetics Talk and it's our mission to bring you the best tips and tricks to help you fight diabetes. Thanks for watching. We hope you're having a diabetes fighting day.